President Trump, meanwhile, unveiling a new rapid test kit for coronavirus that is supposed to give results within five minutes of taking it. Yesterday's announcement coming just days after manufacturer Abbott Labs said that the FDA had given them emergency clearance to produce its cartridge-based test. Chief White House correspondent John Roberts joining us now live with more on that. John, good morning. Sandra, good morning to you. And the president very excited about this new rapid five-minute test from Abbott Labs displaying it there in the Rose Garden of the White House. We expect to get more details today on what the new guidelines regarding social distancing will be. It will be in place until April the 30th. And the data behind those at the daily coronavirus briefing in the Rose Garden yesterday, the president indicating that he received a startling forecast from his medical team about what could happen if those guidelines were relaxed too early. I asked the president whether the guidelines would be the same or if they would be modified. Listen here. Yeah, we may add a few more, but the guidelines will be very much as they are, uh, maybe even toughened up a little bit. But they're having a big impact. This is based on modeling that shows the peak in fatalities will not arrive for another two weeks. The same modeling also shows that by very vigorously following these guidelines, we could save more than one million American lives. The president also saying that the current restrictions on travel and border restrictions will stay in place. Travel restrictions from the EU are up for reconsideration on April the 13th. Uh, travel restrictions across the U.S., Mexico and Canada borders up for renewal on April the 22nd. The president suggesting yesterday that there will not be any change there. Now, the White House continues to work with private corporations to ramp up and deliver desperately needed medical supplies. The president announcing that drug companies will be making available some 17 million doses of chloroquine to treat patients, also announcing that Ford Motors has partnered with General Electric to produce 50,000 ventilators in the next 100 days. I asked the president about that, too. Listen here. So we have now uh, 10 companies at least making the ventilators. And we say, go ahead. Do you believe, as, as we approach this peak in a couple of weeks, that there will be enough for the American population? I do think so, yes. I do think so. Uh, I think we're going to be in very good shape. And more information from the Coronavirus Task Force on how long we will be dealing with this virus. Dr. Anthony Fauci is saying that he expects that, like the flu, coronavirus will come back again in the fall, but that it will be a very different situation. Listen here. I would anticipate that that would actually happen because of the degree of transmissibility. However, if you come back in the fall, it will be a totally different ball game of what happened when we first got hit with it in the beginning of this year. There will be several things that will be different. Our ability to go out and be able to test, identify, isolate, and contact trace will be orders of magnitude better than what it was just a couple of months ago. It's going to be things that we have available to us that we did not have before. Yeah, one of those things hopefully will be a vaccine as well. Now, the president yesterday in the Rose Garden had with him the CEOs of a number of different companies who are pitching in to help out, particularly when it comes to personal protective equipment. The uh, CEO of United Technology saying that his company will be making available personal protective equipment that it already has in its stockpiles as well. It will be making face masks as well. The CEO saying he does not need the Defense Production Act to get his company to move. The president will be having a teleconference this afternoon with network service providers. And then, of course, Sandra, at 5 o'clock, we'll have the daily coronavirus briefing. We'll see what that brings later on today. Back to you. Thank you for your reporting on all of that. John Roberts at the White House. Thank you.